Hello, hello everyone and welcome to Losers Become Winners for April 8th, 2020, XLE and XLV both got over 30% ROI to earn a last bar low exit. In addition, XLP exited with 10 days of 4% profit. Let's go look at those numbers, and here we are. XLP got in on the 30th of March, got taken out today, got in at 15. Remember, one contract, 100 shares is $515, got out of 540, $25 profit. $25 profit divided by the 15 comes out as a percentage of 4.9. Pretty good in 10 days. Not the greatest, but hey, we've seen better, right? Okay, that said, here's more important is XLE is at 80%. Let's go over it. Oh, here's the XLP chart. We did set the uh, exit at the 30-day moving average to protect profit. Done. Let's move on to XLE. Now, XLE has been very uh, good. And here we go. So uh, we got 80%. We're at last bar low. That's what that means right there. Last bar, the low of that bar. That's my exit for tomorrow. If it turns against me, if it doesn't, keeps on going, great. Yeah, we're shooting for a 1,300 return, and we're only at 570. But remember, rocks become pebbles, pebbles become profit. Profit does payback, and we get retires to the winner's circle. You've seen it for the last six, eight. I think we just completed seven months, starting our eighth month. Pretty cool. All right, that said, let's go on to our next leader. That's XLU, and XLU is right here and zoom in a little bit closer to see it much better. There it is. And this is only at a 4% profit. So that's considered that is profit zone. Anytime that this turns to a positive, that's a profit zone. And the stop has been moved up now to my black value line. I don't have anything else. We're looking for an anticipation of getting up here. We get to our 30% um, Marker will be with the last bar low also. So there we are for the Tigers account. So the Tigers did get some money back. They're going to be looking for other opportunities. They're back on the scoreboard. Welcome back, Tigers. That said, let's get over to the Alphas. And the Alphas is pretty exciting too because here's the point. Uh, where is my... Oh, XLV. There we go. We're looking for XLV. And what's really cool about XLV is that XLV is playing for a loss leader. We talked about this before in the last few days. And it was WBMD. And it was some kind of digital medical site. And the result was that they got bought out by KKR. I don't know who KKR is. I haven't investigated. They haven't come up on screen. But the important point is that when WBMD left the field, they owed me 568 Look at this. We are 1612. Yes, 1612 at 57% profit. That is a last bar low rule. We are last bar. If we get turned around and between here and here, if we lose maybe three, four hundred dollars, as long as we get out above 568, we're going to have ourselves a retiree to the winner's circle and the lost leaders will drop by one. That said, Let's go on now to MXLC. And now XLC is also playing for a dead loss leader. That dead loss leader is C-Trip. C-Trip was a digital site about traveling. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what their business was, but I know that it was, in, it was involved in traveling. And when they went off the field, they owed me 1036. We are now sitting at 500. So we are 536 short of getting out on and remember if it turns around we'll we'll uh we'll we'll take it the stop and again the same situation we're having here we we don't have any rules of exit so we have to wait it out if we can get a clear if we can get a nice breakaway tomorrow in this direction up in this zone then we can go to um moving average for protecting of the profit zone above 30 you know the rules we're gonna do last bar low that takes us on to Microsoft, and here is Microsoft, and Microsoft is owes us uh, 796. There it is, right there. 
796 and uh, it's in profit zone only at $173. So that means what we are looking at here at the uh, moving average, the 30 day moving average this is a typical. People like 30, people like 20. I like 30 because 30 is a nice balance between the 20 day and the 50 day, which is used by a lot of industry people. I'm not too crazy about the 50 day. A lot of far away stuff. Coming up to our last leader of the day is IWM. IWM is running here. Now, this is an interesting point. I drew this last week. Now, this is a Kingfisher tray, which means I had a nice collection of, of candlesticks in earlier around the April. We got April 7th. Is that how far that goes back? And the, um, no, it happened today. <laughs> Yesterday, uh, this morning we got triggered. <laughs> but you see, I, I was predicting a move, and uh, sure, it went this way, but it didn't come down and go up. That's what my, that's what I was getting, getting jazz about my drawing. Uh, and we're at, uh, oh, it was 420 on Microsoft. I apologize. So actually, Microsoft is only 300 and something dollars short. Uh, IWM is 173. So 173 for mom. Um, for IWM and the stop is set here at the dipper. We're doing a, we have, we took on to the dipper. And the other ones are lagging behind the IA and WUBA. They got a pretty penny up here in buying power. So we'll see what happens tomorrow to set that up. And with that, I thank you very much for checking out Losers Become Winners for April 8th, 2020. And happy trading, be safe, be happy. And please share with this, with other people who are in need of knowing that there is a way of making an income in these dark times. With that, I thank you and God bless, be well. Bye-bye.